Hey guys, welcome to Coding Simplified and now we'll solve a new problem in binary tree. So basically we are given a binary tree and we need to print the elements between any two level given, right? So uh, like here, this is my first level, this is my second level, this is my third level and this is my fourth level. And you are given a root node and you will be given a max minimum and minimum and maximum level. So let's say if I given two and three, it means I can print the element between two and three, right? So my answer should be seven, five, uh, seven, five, then again, five, six and nine, right? Because these are the element between two and three. So here I have element seven and five with two and then here I have element five, six and nine in third level so this is I need to print let's say if my level was from 2 to 4 so addition to this I can uh, I will also print 5 11 and 4 right so given an binary tree you need to print element in any given two levels that that is what you need to ask right so how I'll solve this so basically uh, basically we we do the level order traversal like so in level order traversal we print all the values so basically we'll do little bit tweak in that program and then whenever we and basically we'll keep the order of the levels that we that we are at which level and we'll check that if our level is the permissible level given the condition then only we'll print the element else we won't print the element so that's the only thing that we will do so let's say let's take example of two and three that will print the two and three so how can we how, how can we keep the level thing so for the level thing, we can basically uh, we can basically take this using the size and the queue thing. So like in level order traversal, we implement it using queue, right? So let's solve this question. So basically, uh, what we'll do on the similar uh, way that we uh, that we solve the level order traversal, here also we'll take a queue, right? So basically, uh, via queue, we'll store the element one by one. So this will be my queue. And then I will I will first of all put the uh, the root level here in Q, and I will say that uh, what is my size. So I will take a variable size and I will take a uh, variable as a level, right? And at the starting my level is one because I am at root, right? So my level is one. Now uh, I will remove the element. I will remove the element from Q and I will get the. So first of all after before removing I will get the size like how many times I need to operate for this level. So when it will remove my size is one. So this size means that for this level I need I have only one element right. So uh, whenever I am done with this of with the operations of this uh, of this element then I will reduce the size right and I will operate and I will operate this until my size is zero is greater than zero for this particular level. So like what will happen like when I will remove this two. So uh, when I remove the two I check that uh, I check that what is the first of all I check that whether it is in permissible level or not. So like uh, currently my level is one but my permissible level is two and three. So I won't print this item. Now I will check that if it has any left or right then put this into queue. So like yes this uh, this two has left as well as this has right. So I will put into queue. Now after after doing operation on this one, I will reduce the size from one to zero, right? Now my size is zero. It means I am done with level one. So when my size is zero, I increase the level to plus one. So now now I am level two. Now again, I will get the size like what is the size of Q. Now it will give me two because I have two element. It means at this level, I need to operate on two element or at this level I have two element right as you can see also that for level for level two I have seven and five right so again the same thing I will do for one by one element here so first of all I'll remove seven I'll check that whether this is in permissible level yes so I will print this element so I'll print seven now I will reduce the size two to one and I will check that whether this seven has any left or right so yes, this seven has 15 and this seven has six, right? So now uh, I'll again go, uh, I will again go with the five. Now, first of all, I'll remove five and I will check whether this is in permissible level, yes. So print this five as well and reduce the size to minus one, which is now it is zero. 
and if it has any left or right so put that value into uh, into q so this has this right node so i'll put this 9 right now my size is 0 it means i am done with this level so i will increase the level to plus 1 which is 3 and i will again count the size so what is the size of q now it is 3 it means for third level we have three element to execute right as you can see from here also that we have three element 15 6 and 9 so again we'll do the same thing we'll remove the 15 we'll check that whether whether this is in permissible level so yes this is so i'll print 15 i'll reduce the size by 1 and uh, i'll reduce the size by 1 and i will check that whether it has any left or right so this 15 does not have any left or right so i won't do anything now I will remove 6, I will check whether it is in label or not, yes this is in label, I will reduce the current size, right, and then after that, uh, once I am done, I will check if it has any left or right, so yes this has left as well as right also, so it means uh, I will print 25 and then 11, right, and then I will check with this 9, uh, I will check it is in permissible level. Yes, I will reduce the size and I will check if it has any left or right. So this 9 has left. So I will put the left here. Right. Now my size is 0, then I will increase the level. Right. And now my level, this level is greater than the maximum level because my level was 3. So it means I can exit from the iteration now. Right. Because after after doing the size 0 at every level I check that whether I have size which is greater than 0 or not then I, uh, I basically check the level right. So basically I need to do from minimum to maximum level right. So this is how we can solve this question and uh, let's talk about the complexity. So as you can see that basically one by one I am doing operation for each element we started in level order first we did for first level then for second level then for third level then for fourth level right. So it means overall we are solving in uh, we are taking time complexity as big of n because we need to iterate on each element right. And about the space complexity so uh, basically we need to take the we are taking a queue which can store at max n element so it means our space complexity is also big of n right so uh, that's all about the logic and about the complexity and now and now let's see that how we can implement it through java code so here is my function print between two levels and here i am passing the root node and here is my minimum and maximum level right this is the base condition i'm checking if my uh, root is null then simply return else i will take a queue and for the first root element i will add into queue now at the starting my level is one right this is l l means level now uh, this, i will i will iterate this while loop so this is true and the breaking condition is that whenever my size is zero it means i have covered all the queue element it means my queue is empty and i can go out of the loop so I will go out of the loop when my size is 0 or my level is greater than the max level. It means I have printed all the max level. It means I can go, I can break out of this loop, right? So these are the two condition I will check whenever I am done with the one level, right? So now uh, like at the starting, I am at first level. So and size is 1 because when I will remove size will be 1. So I'll remove the element, it will check that uh, if it is greater than the minimum and less than maximum, then only it will print the element, else it won't print the element, right? So like for uh, L equal to 1, it won't print because our size will be, our level is from 2 to 3. So, uh, and this thing, anyhow we need to do that if it has any left element, add into Q, if it has any right element, add into Q, and then decrease the size, right? And once your size is 0, it means will increase the level right so this is what i was explaining that we'll do this until our size is greater than zero so this thing will happen for a particular level so it will operate for a particular level and after executing all the elements of a level my size will become zero and after that i will increase the level and after increasing the level it will again check that if it is the validating condition right so this is how this is how i will keep on printing the element if my level is greater than the min level and less than the maximum level then only i will print the element
and guys uh, also uh, i will put the complete source code in description section so you can copy from there and then you can uh, execute at your end as well and also uh, if you have any better approach if you think or if you can think of any good approach or better approach or any approach so you can also comment in the comment section and we will and we can discuss on this one so that's it guys about this video and uh, if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you